So you guys know that I love checking out new and different types of gadgets, but a lot of you always ask like, Keaton, what are your favorite types of gadgets? And it's the food gadgets. I'm always hungry, what can I say? So a few months back, I made this video on a 3D pancake printer. It was straight madness. If you missed it, I'll leave it right up there in the iCard. And then this ice cream ball that you kick and shake, it's pretty much a soccer ball and somehow ice creams formed. I don't even know. So what I'm about to show you guys are five different food gadgets that I picked up on Amazon. If you wanna check them out, I'll leave them linked down below. And straight up, since I haven't eaten anything today, let's just get right into this video. Your boy's hungry. And uh, we have an earthquake. Up first, we got this keyboard waffle iron. It's the most expensive out of this list, but I was like, yo, it's a keyboard waffle iron. Vote up in the iCard if you guys are waffle people or pancake people. I won't judge anyone. And if you say French toast, French toast is also really good. All right, whoa, I was not expecting, I mean, it's expensive, wow. This is really well built. I don't know what I was expecting. I mean, it has to be metal. Heat's about to go through it. So you pretty much just get your waffle batter, you heat your stove top up, and you just set this down, and it it looks like a keyboard. It really looks like a keyboard. Solid build. Magnets too. The only thing left to do is head back to my apartment and see if we can make a keyboard waffle. I can't even open it. The magnet is that strong or I'm just out. I'm probably just that weak. We're back at the apartment now. We're gonna actually try this out with the keyboard waffle iron. Got it hot. We're doing it ghetto style with the gas burner. Not taking it out to the grill. There we go. Dude, I don't think we have enough batter. Oh, of course it's going over the damn side. How do I mess this up? How do I mess this up? Keaton Fieri, trash cooker. And hopefully it, it looks like a keyboard, not a mouse. <laughs> now we're gonna flip it. No strength in the wrist. New wrist, new year. All right, let's check the progress. Perfect! Kind of looks like a keyboard. Nailed it. Come on out. That looks like a keyboard to me. Just don't mess up your uh, batter placement. I'm a goof. Straight goof. Next up is a self-stirring mug. And since it's the winter time, normally I'd make some hot chocolate or hot cocoa. Fun fact, I used to put water and then the cocoa mix in there. I just learned you're supposed to heat up milk and do it that way. I'm learning tons this year. So this is the cheapest thing on the list. It goes for nine bucks. Definitely the most worth it if you're asking me. And basically how this goes down, self-stirring mug. There's a button right here and it needs AAA batteries at the bottom. Super easy. I even got those rechargeable ones from that fries video, if you know what I'm talking about. And then you just hit the button here and then the fan kind of in the middle can see it's moving. That's how it's gonna circulate all your dry ingredients when you put it in the mug. So since we're not making hot cocoa, we're gonna make some Kool-Aid and we're gonna chill. So we got some uh, red Kool-Aid here. I don't even think we need this much Kool-Aid mix, but that's what we're about to do. So Kool-Aid mix is in there, add your water. So to stir this up, just press the button. We got the, uh, is it centripetal force? It's like a tornado. I wanna say centripetal force. Is that centripetal? What, have I really been out of school that long? So we just got a light so you guys can see it a little better. It is centripetal force. I had to look it up. I, I don't like to get my science terms wrong here. Good old mass times velocity squared over radius, baby. You know what it's about. And you can see you got your uh, spiral in the middle. Hold down the button for a few seconds. Your drink's gonna be all churned. Still really sugary. This product here has got me the most scared because we're about to make our own sushi. So it's a sushi bazooka kit. It's pretty easy from the videos that I've been seeing on Amazon. I asked you guys on the Insta story to vote if I'm gonna fail making sushi for the first time. I'm about to make sushi for the first time in my life. We're making an avocado roll. Drop a like if you guys are a fan of sushi. Maybe I'm the only one, but the sushi bazooka kit, and it's just, it's really coming out. So pretty much you get your bamboo mat all set up here. And how this works is you take this plastic mold here, you separate the plunger part, and you open it up. Shout out to Emmy in Japan for actually showing me how to do this. I watched her video, I'll leave it linked down below. Thank you so much, Emmy. I would not have been able to work this. I can barely make cereal in the morning. Look at me fail on the last mug. All right, so you load up rice. Got some, got some, I, I'm like failing. I can't even pick up some trays. Jeez, I'm not even gonna be able to make sushi. And what's really funny here is we had to go to three different sushi restaurants. Like Kyle was telling me, every time he'd walk into a store and like ask for the ingredients, they're like, do you want sushi? And we're like, no, we gotta make it our own. So first up, we're gonna take our rice here. 
All right, just, you know what? Use your hands, just use your hands. I washed my hands, we are good. Everyone that eats this sushi will probably be all right. That's some sticky rice. Wow, that is some really sticky rice. So you're supposed to space out the rice in the tube. So once you have the rice in both portions of the tube, you're gonna take the plunger tool and you're just gonna kind of push it down, creating like a little notch or like a pocket to put your ingredients in. They're all ingredients. I don't even know why I just said that. But in my case, it's gonna be avocado. Emmy, thank you so much for making that video. I would have no idea how to work this otherwise. Avocado! Thanks. Cool, so we're gonna take our slices of avocado now, layer that on in. Dude, I'm gonna be going to MasterChef Junior after this one. They've got it wrong on the menu. It's not a crab cake. It's a crab cake. So once you have your sushi all set up, I had to add a little more extra avocado because if I don't, the rice is just gonna collapse in on itself. So now you're gonna take the plunger here, you're gonna put it right in the groove there, take one half of the tube, click it together. I mean, it's a bazooka after all. Okay, just like that, the bazooka is slowly but surely forming Then just latch it down. So you guys can see we have our avocado and our rice just coming out the top there. You'll be able to see your ingredients and if you're doing like a half decent job. So now you take the bazooka cap, you put it on there, and then you need to twist the plunger part five times just to kind of keep it tight. So one, two, three, four, wait, one, one. Ten, what is he ten, doing? Ten, Take the cap off and let's bazooka out some sushi. Please work. Oh, we got some sushi coming out. What? No, that is, the, all right, we're not doing the greatest of jobs, no. Get off the nori. Three hours later. Oh yeah, this is, this is actually working. Whoa, we're making sushi. Whoa, it's getting easier. I am shocked. Okay, I don't wanna jinx myself, but that's not a bad looking sushi roll for my first time. Just give it a nice roll. Whoa, yes, we are making sushi. Well, kinda, maybe. And just, just like that, I'm gonna say that's a sushi roll. And there you have it, sushi, an avocado roll. We got a little bit of mint chocolate chip ice cream here. Let's throw this on. All right, here we go. First time making sushi and using chopsticks all in one. Whoa, whoa, spicy. The rice is good. It's coming to my nose. This is a win. This next one, I couldn't pass up. It's called the Grilled Cheese Us, and it's pretty much what you're expecting. It's a grilled cheese with Jesus Christ's face on the outside. I think it could be both sides. It's pretty much, I'm sorry, Jesus, I didn't mean that. So the Grilled Cheese Us is heating up right now, and when you open it, you're actually gonna, that's getting hot really fast. You can see Jesus Christ's face will be on both sides of your bread. So we're gonna let this heat up, do its thing, and prepare the first grilled cheese I've ever made for you guys. We're got, we gotta get the grilled cheese on ASAP. So we got both slices of our bread here. Dude, I can't believe it's not butter. Like, what else is it? How do you guys make your grilled cheese? Am I doing this right? Let me know in the comments. The table's all buttery now. We, we have plates and no one said anything? I was just trying to see how much butter you put on the table. Oh, <laughs> of course, Kyle. Let's drop it in on the mold. Putting it oh, right off the bat, you can hear him sizzling. All right, best of luck, Mr. Christ. Best of luck. Come out cheesy. It ain't easy being cheesy. I think the green light pops on when the machine's ready or when Mr. Christ is ready to be eaten. Oh, and just like that, the green light came on. Let's open it up. Thanks for the plate, Kyle. Holy, no, that is hot, but we got it. A holy grilled cheese. I, I would grab it with my fingers. That is hot. That's hot for sure. Can we see Mr. Christ's face? On the grilled cheese, kinda. You turn your head a little bit, you squint a touch, you can kinda see Jesus Christ's face on a grilled cheese. It's a good pun though. The last product is probably the most simple one on the list. It is an iPhone thermometer. And what's cool about it is it just plugs in to your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack if your phone still has one, and you'll be able to start reading temps. We're gonna be able to... Jeez, that just took way too much effort. So the range can detect food up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. I got the dongle here because my iPhone 8 Plus doesn't have a headphone jack. It's not even funny. It's not even a funny joke at this point. Once you have the app all installed, on notifications, 
sweet. Just tell me what the food temp is. Quick update on the range right now. It's not working and I just checked the app which has been updated for the iPhone 8 and iPhone 10. So I'm assuming a dongle won't do it. We got the app on Kyle's 6S with the headphone jack. And when you push it into your food, for example, a temperature should come up. There's nothing coming up. So with the power of Jesus, we overnighted a second one and hopefully that works. I'll be back. 24 hours later. So it's the next day, the second range actually showed up. Let's try to fire up the app and see if this works. Send me the notifications, give me everything. And I'm actually using my 6S Plus with the headphone jack just so we don't have any dongle problems if that's what's causing this thing not to work. You right? It works! Wow, I didn't think it was gonna work. All right, let's see if it warms up just with my hands. There you go, it's going up. Let's take it out. Just gonna finesse it off here. Perfect, there we go. Got the grilled cheese is all set. Let's see what the actual temperature of this grilled cheese is. Here we go. That just shoots up instantly. Peep this, it's climbing. All right, 183 degrees is this grilled cheese. That's pretty sure for this video. Make sure you guys get subscribed with notifications turned on and let me know in the comments if you guys are just joining the Notice Squad. Follow us on the Insta story because that's where all the behind the scenes are happening with the crew. And stay hungry, my friends. Peace.